that spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? Let me see the best chip you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now this, this is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean-going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, how much would you like to spend? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? I have 274 pieces of eight. I think we must be talking about completely different ships here. You've obviously been out of the ship market for quite some time. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Money is no object. Well, it is with me. How much you got? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a much bigger boat, I can tell. So, what else can I show you? Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now, I can see you're a no-frills kind of guy, but I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north, where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough, and hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. How much would you like to spend? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain, but if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. 
your money. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? I want us to make up and be friends. I want you to go away and leave me alone. The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. Oh no, this looks bad, very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Meanwhile, having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> 